I started in 1974. We didn't even have electronic calculators at the time. We had adding machines and a manual pull the lever calculator. The computers now are really in control. All the tax preparation is pretty much done online. So it's been a huge change from when I started. We had a lot of desktop software, and now we're seeing a lot of clients and people transition to internet software so that you can access it from anywhere. It's much easier to do, but you lose a little bit of that care and security. People don't have to read a form anymore. They assume the computer's gonna do it right. If they put it in wrong, the computer will still compute it and let them file, but it can still be wrong. You still have to understand the tax rules and laws. With a software system or a TurboTax, for example, it's much more difficult to do any planning. But as you move into owning a house, uh, investing in assets, having a pension or an IRA, assets from an estate, all those cause new questions. We deal mostly in smaller businesses, but they still need planning as far as, do I buy a building? When do I sell a building? Uh, do I get a rental property? What do I do with investments? I have a big loss, how do I deal with it? Being an accountant, one of my goals is to help people be good with their money. It's more than just taxes. We do impact people. We couldn't do like drive sharing because it's not a secure platform. And we even had to tell clients to stop emailing us because it's also not secure. So we have a secure accounting specific portal that clients can submit their personal information on. All of our tax research software is done online. It's very difficult to read and understand because it's all in legal terms, uh, code sections and such. Congress changes the tax code. Grad students write the tax code. Then the Internal Revenue Service has to interpret that code, send us regulations, and we have to try to figure out what they're trying to accomplish and what they're saying. So anytime a new tax law comes into effect, there are so many issues involved that we don't even know sometimes for months how it's going to affect us, and especially if it's a retroactive change. The process is still the same, but the tools are a lot different. Ultimately, we're looking at numbers and we're trying to figure out where those numbers should go, finding where you know we can help people the most. Business intelligence, in my mind, is the accumulation and using of all the data that we can get from the IT side how fast their inventory is turning, how much their sales are, is their costing proper, are they being efficient if they're a service industry. So you have to use all of that data and how you analyze it, review it, and use it to project how you're going to react in the future to either problems, downturns, additional costs, or new product development. I see accounting still being as important as it ever has been, and, and we're not all as boring as people think we are. Usually you'll just see people's eyes blaze over when you start talking about accounting or taxes, unless you're in the field. Software might not necessarily be able to take into the human factor, but makes my job really efficient. And I imagine that it'll head to a point where people can upload a W-2 or a 1099 into a secure cloud and it would just automatically fill. And that might create a challenge for us as preparers. We might transition to a place of evaluating and checking and doing more future planning than actually doing a lot of input like we currently do. We still need good accountants. We need young people that can come on board that can produce the data, analyze the data and use it to make management decisions. I'm really grateful to have the mentor and boss and dad that I do have. There's a good future in the accounting profession. I think there always will be. 